Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Sunday Best, episode 22. I'm Gavin Kelly, joined by my co-host, as usual, Asura Jenison. Uh, man, how you doing, bro? Yeah, all good, all good. Nice, yeah, man. Yeah, the, heat, the heat is back. The heat wave is waving, Spring bro. Springtime is springing. It's springing upon us. Yeah, it goes to... It goes to zero to a hundred real fast. Actually, it's more like zero to thirty-five. <laughs> <laughs> Highest temperatures. <laughs> yeah, it's it's officially wearing shorts, wearing light t-shirts. Yeah, I should actually get my shorts back uh, on. You bro. committed to the cargo pan game. Yeah, man. no, this is gotta have pockets, man. Oh. I got a lot of things to carry. I got baggage. <laughs> I got baggage. So I got these cargo pants, yeah, bro, but... for all my issues. <laughs> yeah, how you been, bro? Was your week you good? Uh, I've been hustling, did some comedy, which that's... was keeping me busy. Yeah, that's did, dope. Uh, did Obutu Lolo's gig in Rosebank. That was fun. Abutu Lolo, not Abutu. Abutu. Yes, that's what Abutu I said. Is... Mm-hmm. Check the tape, man. We Abuti. can rewind. <laughs> and where was that in Rosebank? <laughs> Rosebank is a club club. It was and how dope. was that? It was dope, man. It was, 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 was cool, yeah. And then I did a Savannah gig, which was weird. It was like in a restaurant, high ceiling. Oh. It was like a performing at a little stadium, but it was... was performing nice. at a stadium? That's yeah, because that sound system, you know? Oh, because yeah, of the reverb. Yeah, the reverbs. Yeah. yeah, so it was keeping busy, keeping funny, man. Yeah, right? I was doing some comedy sketches as well. Yeah, I see you getting your acting chops on again. Yeah, mm-hmm. man, I played a therapist that gives uh, grammar advice more than therapy, <laughs> <your> psychological <laughs> advice. That's so funny, a grammar Nazi therapist. Yeah, <laughs> so every time you're trying to express yourself to your therapist, it's like... Let's first get the grammar right. Yeah. <laughs> and then we can start the healing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know, so also funny, dude. I went, I had a like an after work drinks with with a colleague. Yeah. And when I got there, see it's here in Woodmead, actually, where I stay. Um Dave Levinson was running a gig there. Too. What? Yeah, mm-hmm. dude. A comedy uh, gig. Comedy gig, dude. And it was so dead, bro. Oh no. He performed to like five people though, like if two Girl standing at the bar, like two two dudes from I think the Middle East. They were speaking Hebrew the whole time. To oh no! Mm. Bar was empty. Oh no! I mean, mm. Mark Banks headlined. Mark Banks, mm. dude. Hannes Bremer. Oh no! It was just the three of them, and then they asked me if I wanted to jump, and I was like, "Not in this room, no, thank you." I've been out of comedy for a while, like stand up and I love my otherwise this is I'm, not where I want to come back. I'm gonna need to see a therapist. A real one, not play one. Not a no. grab a therapist. <laughs> Jeez, no, bro. Bro. So just oh, I was like, okay. It also reminded me like, oh yeah, this is the industry. Eh? Nice. <laughs> it was so funny because Mark Banks was just like complaining about it as well. He's like, the fucking industry, that's the fucking industry anymore. That's, that's fuck. Yeah. It's all these fucking kids. <laughs> He's talking about all these kids who are doing comedy now. And I was like, yeah, dude, I mean, that's what happens when you get older. Younger people do things. <laughs> that you used to do. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's depressing, dude. And I know it was probably like a funny show in terms of jokes. Yeah, I mean, I knew all those gags. Yeah. You know, I've seen them now. Like, I've seen them before. Jeez, but Dave Levinson's funny. That's, oh, dude, um, dude, all of them are funny, dude. Like, he, like they've all got good, good stuff. But you know what it is? It's the social media hustle. They're not doing the things that need to be done. In they, terms yeah, of they're an older generation, following. dude. And I think I f- kind of fall under them because I'm just like in between. They need to start a podcast. Bro. Then you start a podcast <laughs> bro. on Saturdays it's called Saturday Best. <laughs> Saturdays mediocre. But you know, so interesting. Mark Beck's is fucking brilliant, dude. He does. He did this thing where because people were listening to Pop or Pissed or whatever the Hebrew guys oh, were yeah, chatting. What did you? Do? But because his presence is so good, like, you know, because he's got that acting presence. Yeah. He's like an actor. People eventually, the room went quiet and people were just listening to him. That's like, skillful, bro. Dude. That's and like, hard. Like, my colleague mm-hmm. was even impressed. He's like, yo, bro, check now. People are... Yeah, that's hard to do, bro. I mean, uh, even though there's like not crazy laughs, but people were listening. <laughs> oh, they were just respecting this old guy <laughs> with a <the> microphone. <laughs> <laughs> old white guy. <laughs> we must listen. <laughs> we must listen. Yeah, dude. Ah, that's interesting. Yeah, but you didn't perform, eh? No, you fuck no, didn't bro. Grab the mic. No, no, no. Give me that mic. Some guys are like that, like Bongani Dube. He's like, five people in a bar, no one's listening. He'll be like, give me that mic. Like, I want to talk my shit. Yeah. He's like that. I don't have that. I don't have that. That's. I think it's impressive. It's a, I don't know if it's a confidence thing or, or a, a not <laughs> thing. I don't know weren't, what it is. We were not breastfed. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, but I just can't do it. For me, I have to have like a rhythm. I have to start like a journey again. I have to have a crowd. (laughs) Just like people who care about the craft. I have to have a crowd of people who are there for comedy. Those people are not there for comedy. They were there for 
the steaks and the beers. That's it. <laughs> That's what I was there for. <laughs> That's what I was doing there too, bro. I wasn't there for comedy. I didn't know there was <laughs> comedy. I arrived. I was like, oh, fuck, Dave, yeah. it was your post. I was like, we should see him seeing Hannes Brimmer sitting alone. I was like, what? Yeah. When did, when did this area get comedy? Yes, see, right. Well, after the gig, I was like, I see why. But I was helping Dave. I was chatting to him. I was like, why don't we do this Do this corner here? Make this place like an intimate thing. Yeah, it could work out. Yeah, you that guy, the ideas guy. Mm. But you'll never be like... <laughs> I'll have the responsibility, bro. I'm, like, I'm not going to make a poster. <laughs> uh, <laughs> nope. Yeah, exactly. I'll chip in. Like, you know. Yeah. This, the defensive mid, just and the break <laughs> passing the ball. You finish the goal, bro. You finish the goal. More of a coach assistant. <laughs> yeah. mm. assistant coach. More of Ten Hag. <laughs> I got booked by Ronnie though for an end of month gig. I'm excited. Oh, nice! For that. Like a co- no, you know I Not wanted more. Gig, gig. I got asked to do a corporate for a school. And I was like, okay, it's an MC gig. I was like, okay, it's some money. Nice. So at least at a school like assembly vibes. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Like an interview. You just said yes, sir. I just said yes. I'll take it. It's been Damn, a while, bro. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I want to see that, bro. We need to start recording our gigs, like. Uh, like these, youngsters, these people, yeah, ish. like narcissists. <laughs> yes, get a selfie stick. <laughs> well, we're bo- imagine yeah. you come in and hold yourself a stick. Yo, right. so funny, dude. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, yeah, man. I guess we can start the show. Oh, well, what you could do is get a like a thing that attaches to the microphone that has the camera, and then while you're performing, yeah, like a GoPro. <laughs> imagine you come <laughs> stage with a GoPro bro, on your head, and you're recording to see how you're dying. People can actually see. They should actually start doing. That's actually not a bad idea, dude. See how you want to like capture death? No, <laughs> how it feels. No, so you know, a lot of times I feel like young comics, a lot of them post stuff with, you know, there's like post editing and stuff like that, or they've got to rent a crowd, or it's like three people laughing, but they, like, you know, you can edit it to make Those it seem happen, like, yeah. like you're killing it in a massive crowd. Then, yeah. But like reality, if you have the actual camera that you can see how people actually <laughs> and it must be streamed live. Streamed live, exactly, bro. <laughs> No editing, Baba. Netflix Live. <laughs> Netflix Live, dude, with a camera on the... Well, speaking about live shows... Yeah, man. 10,000 Voices Stand Strong. Women for Change Challenge Chris Brown's Concert. So are you going to Chris Brown's concert? <sighs> no. I mean, I only know, like, two songs. What am I gonna do? <laughs> I also don't know his music anymore. I mean, I know. I know Run It. Run It. That's what most women do when they see him. <laughs> well, it should. And that first one. I don't yeah. know your name, but excuse yeah. me, miss. Yeah. I saw you from across the room. <laughs> and you got me a change. I say no. <laughs> the music video is. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I like a, that song. That's a cute song. It's a good song. Yeah. Yeah. It reminds me of that um, before the little beat. bow wow jagged edge era. You know? Yeah, before he was beating women, the so. Jermaine Dupree era as well. You know. Yeah, man. But it was crazy. He sold out <clears throat> the biggest stadium in South Africa, basically. Yeah, bro. It's crazy. Twice. People fucking love Chris Brown that much. I don't know. Chris Brown was so relevant, bro. And this is not the first time he came to South Africa. I mean, I've been to Groove and I haven't heard a Chris Brown song in... As well, bro. When's the last time he had a hit? (laughs) (laughs) Was it Rihanna 2009? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Because he came to South Africa before, fun fact. Remember? He was on Generations. He was on Generations. Maybe it's all those Generations fans. All those people like, going to the concert are the people who like Generations. We watch Generations that day. Yeah. Like it's obviously an older generation. <laughs> <laughs> it's all that soccer city. Twice. That's crazy. That's dude. crazy, man. In two hours. Madness. That's crazy. Madness. Yo. Yeah, but anyway, there's a petition. Controversy, bro. Yeah, I mean, what do you think? Do you think you should be performing in South Africa? Even though, because South Africa oh, has, a, has a GBV... Reputation. I mean, obviously, as a market share, that we didn't know about it. Eh? He obviously has a market too, yeah. Mm, I mean, I guess it makes sense. You've got a high concentration of GBV and you've got Chris Brown fans <laughs> high concentration, so it kind of correlates. <laughs> if you're a Chris Brown fan, you're also a GBV fan. <laughs> That's what we're getting at here, guys. I wonder who's opening acts going to be, like Jub Jub and Oscar Pistorius. <laughs> <laughs> Pitch Black Afro. <laughs> Pitch Black Afro, bro. Oh, it's funny, bro. <laughs> Yes. Oh, yeah, fuck. Did Pitch Black Afro have allegations for? Yeah, he murdered his wife, bro. No He's fucking in jail, way, bro. Dude. Yeah, man. But I mean, then name was Pitch Black. 
what's gonna happen to your eyes what happens <laughs> when you date him bro <laughs> yeah so you got in bricks bricks as well I think yeah. bricks murdered his wife i don't know pitch black. yeah i think you're confusing pitch black Afro with bricks my bro. bad allegedly guys these are not facts yeah these are not facts this is gavin's uh, <laughs> Just, i don't know what news he reads daily sun these are gavin's daily sun articles <laughs> when you read the news on timu <laughs> <laughs> daily sun is the timu of newspapers yeah bro. dude <laughs> shit yeah bro yeah, i'm not i'm not the audience eh, for this but yeah man this one lady there's one lady to see the lady. vice chancellor of, the, of UCT. <laughs> so <I'm laughs> female. She bought tickets. Apparently, these tickets were like 30 grand or something, VIP. Well, she's the ex UCT vice chancellor. Yeah. But she's ex now. She doesn't have to hold the university in highlight anymore. Yeah, and she has some beef with um, Women for Change. Argued Brown's performance would be glorifying abusers, emphasizing that South Africa is a femicide and GBV hotspot area. Hectic, Jeez, bro, we've got crime hotspots and GBV hotspots. Yes, yeah, yes. we need those signs. Those, you know, well, how would you put a sign? Would you put like a fist <laughs> in a woman going? <laughs> so, it's like a guy holding a black label, <laughs> one liter. You see a black label <laughs> sign, bro, which means this is a GBV zone. <laughs> Zamalek. <laughs> Why is Zamalek have such a bad rep, bro? It's, it's, uh, it's the drink of choice for the. I think it's mm. that one advert where they picked up a crate. After the me building the railroad, that's the one that made it bad. Yeah, because they 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 linked like hard labor laborers and workers to drinking a lot of alcohol with the top system, and then having that subconscious of them beating women, and that's why. Also, it's brown, you know. If it was white and clear, it would have been different. It was a white label. <laughs> it was <a> white label. <laughs> <laughs> what would it be? It would be like business crime. Yeah. So, yeah, it says, you are pathetic. <laughs> UCT is probably a better management than it was under your term. Your shots fired. You are an, you are an old hag. Yes, sir. You're seeking validation from strangers on the internet. Instead of enjoying your retirement in peace, you are revealing your lack of critical skills we learn in See, humanities. So, I always feel as if when you start insulting mm-hmm. someone, you've already lost the argument. Yes, sir. But like, like the yeah. whole point is to have a debate without insulting people. Why? It's true. Huh? If you start, as soon as you start insulting someone, you've lost. Now it's a roast. That's not a debate. Yeah, it's dude. The... I mean, I mean, she's obviously projecting her trauma here onto her. It looks like she wants to beat her. <laughs> she's talking, bro. And it's not even GBV anymore. It's just BV. <laughs> not even BV. It's GV because it's bitches, girl violence. Bitches be bitch. <laughs> or you can call bitch violence. I mean, so it depends what. Because if it's, I mean, I, I, I think. The problem with South Africa is not the whole gender. I, I get that women are suffering because, I mean, you know, social structures and history and you know the, the psychology of a lot of deep-rooted issues are there. But violence in South Africa is spread through. It doesn't matter whether it's it's man on man, woman on woman. It's normal in South Africa. Non-binary. It doesn't discriminate. Yeah, it doesn't discri- violence doesn't discriminate in South Africa. I think it's a South African thing. Before we but do you think women are just the most uh, vulnerable? Yeah, women suffer. Women suffer, bro. But yeah, it's not August, know, so we don't Dave. have to talk about that. <laughs> I was like just this. doing Dave Chappelle's bit. Women suffer. <laughs> I know. <laughs> women suffer. I know. Same team. <laughs> <laughs> I will attend every concert I want until I choose otherwise. It's free country, right? Or freedom is only reserved just for abortions. Yo, talk about leaving the, the WhatsApp group and starting a new one, bro. Why are we talking about bro, abortions? Talking about, where did abortions come in here, bro? Whoa, <laughs> dude. You know, abort no, this, you this know, beef. You know, abort the beef. UCT <laughs> is in a better place. Someone said the baby is also in a better place than it was in your womb because oh. you would have been a pathetic mother. We must spread kindness. Yeah, that's very kind of you. Sit back in. I mean, listen to what she says, and then she's like, "We must spread kindness." And also, Ra- that, that Ronaldo Hus got involved now, bro. Why is this guy still relevant, Ronaldo Hus? Can we just delete his accounts? Yes, yes, bro. Isn't this guy this guy tweeting from jail? Isn't he supposed to be in jail? No, you can't go to jail for for racism. For saying the K word twenty five years. Oh, ago. you just get a fine or a slap on the wrist. You just get a yeah, a new job somewhere in Sanzen, I guess. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Did you get a new job after saying the K word? So you're hired. <laughs> Someone who, I, who who hired Ronaldo Cruz? Yeah, let's not go down that rabbit hole, bro. Somehow he lacks the relevance, and then now she's just roasting this guy. Absolutely nothing to do with him. Indeed, only in South Africa our land. Yes, this is. What I agree with this. You guys are comfortable disrespecting the elderly on this app. 
Yeah, that's true, bro. Prof. Prof. Pekang is not your friend, no matter what her option is. It doesn't warrant option the way, opinion, bro. Uh, opinion, sorry, it wasn't. Her option was determined. <laughs> yeah, she took that option. <laughs> Interact with that. No, we're making uh, abortion jokes, bro. Yeah, no, now we got to abortion. Dude, it's because someone mentioned it there, dude. Yeah, I know, man. Yeah, so Chris Breezy, eh? Chris, it ain't know. easy being Chris Breezy. Because <laughs> he's sleazy. I don't know. Maybe I'll buy two tickets for my girlfriend's birthday. Well, did she mm. like Chris Brown? No, but I'll just buy them anyway wow, <laughs> to send dude. a message. <laughs> wow. <laughs> like, bitch, if you start acting up, I'm going to buy them Chris Brown tickets. <laughs> We're going to go to Chris Brown. VIP, bye-bye. <laughs> You're going to go meet with Chris Brown. <laughs> Get those golden circle tickets. Uh, that's so funny, bro. <laughs> He's in Chris Brown tickets to threaten someone, bro. <laughs> Yo, that's funny. Yes, dude. yes. yes. Okay, but yeah, let's leave this rabbit hole before it gets, uh, you know, controversial. And speaking of controversial, Mama Joy, yes, or oh, Mama Narcissist. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Bavana Bavana super fan Mama Joy gives narcissism a new meaning so, so yeah it's Mimi Joy so Mama Joy was at the recent Bafana Bafana game against Congo and we I've won five ba and we beat them we clapped them <laughs> <laughs> sorte sorte is get out in French sorte <laughs> yeah short sleeve or long sleeve <laughs> yo <laughs> but that's really on bro Oh, they do did do the like the, uh, King Leopold did fucking chop up people. You see, I he, speak nothing but the facts. Yeah, no, dude, Leopold was a fucking. I don't know why we don't talk. Leopold is worse than Hitler, in my opinion. Nice. Those, some of the shit that he did in the Congo. I mean, even like the medical research and all. Ugh, it's dude. It's, it's, it's a dark that, place. That uh, Rwanda genocide thing. Do you know what the number is on that thing, bro? It was like nine hundred thousand people, dude. Almost a milli. Of that's this is insane, dude. This is yeah. insane. Not only that, I mean, like the yeah. Go on. So yeah, she is getting deep. <laughs> <laughs> she plays it for the camera. Eh? Tech. 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 What is she? What is she? Is she asking for something? She looks like she's asking. Maybe for she's like guys for go up. Katie McKenzie to send her to <laughs> the next World Cup, please. Narcissism. Yeah, mm. I mean, she, she's supposed to be called Mama Joy. Not, why, mm. why is there no joy in the way? We're leading 2-0. No. That is the time for you to be Mama Joy. It's like, like she was a thief of joy. Sure, she took that kid's joy, that's for sure, <laughs> bro. <laughs> And the guy spent time sticking that stuff on the paper. Yeah, to be fair, I mean, it's not the best artwork I've seen. I mean, <laughs> cutting snippets and sticking on a piece of white paper. Come on, bro. That's, it's not like that piece was going to go for, you know, millions. Yeah, the guy didn't pay attention. It's not like, the the kid, like we're looking at that art. It's like, oh my God, this kid has talent. We just, you know. When is the next AFCON? I think we're playing Congo again tomorrow. Does this thing happen every two years, the AFCON? Or four years. Oh, I'm not sure. I think so the Fcon was. Yeah, I think we. Were just, I feel like we just watched the Fcon, bro. We came third in that thing, silver, bronze. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. we got a bronze medal. Came, yeah, we. I think we're improving, bro. It's great. Bafana, Bafana, yeah, they're playing well, man. And that goalkeeper is the captain. This guy. Yeah, this guy's badass. What's his name? Ronwin Williams. Ronwin. Yeah, he was the. We, we, all but we've saves. always produced dope keepers, bro. Always, bro. Yeah, From I mean, Senzo to Senzo ish. Who was that other guy who in 2010? Dated Mini Glamini or something? Uh, you're talking about uh, Jubilee Kune. Yes. yes, yeah, yes. Kune. He, the, he some was of the good. best distribution I've ever and seen. Then you got a Mukaba ish. Then... Yeah, Black Label was sponsoring <laughs> Chiefs that time. He wasn't saving goals, he was saving Black Label courts. Mm. Yeah. yeah, so anyway, I don't know what I mean. People, please comment in the comment section. And tell us how you feel about Mama Joy it's because she took the joy away from that child. Is it narcissism? It's, I think it's quite ironic, though, that we're criticizing her for being a narcissist when, like, 90% of society on social media is filled with it. With their selfie sticks. Yeah, exactly, dude. I mean, you go onto Instagram and the amount of women that are doing stuff. So, how is it any different? 
She wants she wants the screen time, bro. Yeah, she she put on that hat and that makeup for a reason. Yeah, bro. dude. I mean that took more effort than sticking some fucking magazine cutouts on a piece of white paper. But let's get real here, guys. There's levels to this shit, man. It's when you wasted some prit. <laughs> <laughs> when last you used prit, there's making spider webs behind. <laughs> That's Did you ever do that? You nah. make spiderwebs behind the, the print. I just remember the print when it was on its last, last number. You had to. Yo, you even mm, didn't scoop it. You had to scoop it and then. Damn. <laughs> hey, times were tough as a, as a kid, <laughs> but bro. But I must say, dude, when print arrived, it changed the game, bro. Because I remember we had that first, that liquid glue. It was like a resin that would like make you know, <laughs> make it wet. Wet and, you know, it's soggy. Crippled, yeah. And then there was the wood glue that we tried as well. It was also like everywhere before. Then when Prit came, damn son, it's effortless. <laughs> it's a stick. Just <laughs> like lip balm. <laughs> like lip balm, bro. Imagine. <laughs> so hey. funny, bro. Well, speaking of um, <laughs> narcissism, I don't know. Uh, DSTV piracy cracked down. Views on next. That's this whole. Can I tell you something? This whole article is misleading. It doesn't say anything about viewers. Yeah, this says about these sort of like these software accounts things that. Yeah, it's more about of, people who are distributing it. Yes, and so, the DSTV is upset with the customers buying from them and not from DSTV. They're not even buying; they're just doing it illegally. Like this whole article is about a guy from Botswana who was distributing this online, selling it to people overseas for, so they can put it on online like free platforms. It's crazy how you can steal. Someone's video. content. This with DSTV is basically content, right? Mm. You can steal content and then <laughs> sell it or illegally, illegally uh, like like it's a but resource. Which is ironic, which is interesting because social media, you can share something, and that's sen- like basically selling content. Because I mean, there's no such like ugh, I guess it does cra- it does reduce the number of views who can pay. Yeah, definitely, bro. So I wouldn't want to pay for DSTV. That's why people are fucking. If you maybe bring the prices down and make it something a bit more reasonable, it's exorbitant. You mm. won't have fucking pirates. <laughs> <laughs> I am the captain now. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> we are the streamers now. <laughs> I saw they're trying with like Showmax. They're trying to make Premier League cheaper on Showmax. Yeah, like my brother had that thing. Month. It was garbage. Really? Yeah, there was like a serious lag. The, the resolution was bad. It's just like he says, it's it hey, that thing is always a problem with this TV. The actual technology is. Up. Yeah, they should work on that rather than trying to find fucking yeah. illegal streamers. Yeah, something like Netflix is so smooth and makes so much sense. User friendly. YouTube as well. You got YouTube Live. Yeah, YouTube is the one, bro. YouTube Live is YouTube is a game changer. DSTV is, yo, oh, the app is it's horrendous, just bro. barbaric, bro. In fact, I think the illegal streams, it's easier to watch Super Sport and DSTV than on the actual DSTV app. Yeah, I agree. I definitely yeah. agree. Because the app just keeps crashing and it's just a shit show, bro. Yeah, dude. Ew. How many streams do you still have? Disney Plus? No, I stopped that a while back. Do you have Netflix? Not mine. Do you have DSTV? Not mine. <laughs> <laughs> you got a PlayStation? Uh, I've got a PlayStation <laughs> network account, yeah. Have uh, you got YouTube Premium? Yeah. I mean, that's 80 bucks. Come on. Spotify? Of course, bro. You think I'm going to listen to someone <laughs> speaking between music? You think I'm going to listen to Chris Brown with ads? <laughs> you fucking... Oh, <laughs> funny, bro. Uh, yeah, those are the major ones. I guess like, there's, there's an HBO. Amazon. Amazon. Also Amazon. not mine. Amazon is trash. Showmax. Also not... No, wait, dude. Amazon's better than... Show- okay, I guess Showmax. The local content is nice. And Showmax. Showmax got HBO. Yeah. So, well, Amazon's got some good stuff as well. Like... Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's okay. I mean, <laughs> Amazon to... is trash, bro. No, dude. I mean, the bears on Amazon. No, it's not. It's on Showmax. Oh, uh, it's on Hulu, isn't it? Isn't Hulu Amazon? No, Hulu is a separate thing. But Amazon bought Hulu. Did so, they? like Atlanta. Atlanta's on, on Amazon. Amazon. Yeah, you're trash talking mm-hmm. freaking Amazon. Ish. When you watch Atlanta, it's not like a fucking. Bo- Do you have Amazon? I don't. Jeff Bezos. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Bezos can suck my dick. <laughs> His big head, yeah. his big head that he'll give you, like a big bald head. Yeah, if you see him on South Park, by the way, they portray Jeff Bezos. <laughs> so funny, dude. Uh, um, yeah, those are the main ones. I also don't have anything. I've got 
got the Streamio. Shout out to Streamio. You know what you do. No, I can't talk about Streamio. Shh. Before they fucking cancel. If they cancel Streamio, uh, I'm dead. Who's going to cancel Streamio? God, you know these Who, uh, internet. It's ABC. <laughs> TV license. It's the go. Uh, I actually want to do a comedy sketch of um, you might see the Sunday sketches yeah why Sunday some, sketches people mm-hmm. of someone uh, like a jail scene dudes all talking about why they're in there one guy's like yeah I want murdered 15 people what, 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 when I was a hijacking cars and other guys like yeah I robbed three banks what, what, like serious like hardcore crimes yeah you know? and then this guy's like yeah I, I showed Pirates of his Chiefs on a Saturday night mm. on my illegal website. And everyone's like, yo! That's like the most dangerous shit ever, bro. Yeah, imagine you're in prison for st- illegally streaming. Streaming, dude. You're, you're, and you get raped by Sasha um, in jail because you illegally stream, bro. Mojo Love. I was, <laughs> I was selling Mojo Love. Mm. I was selling- <laughs> now you're in prison. That's so funny, bro. <laughs> Selling Mojo Love, bro. Imagine <laughs> illegally watching Uya Jola 99. You're cheating to watch cheating. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's, ch- it's cheatception. That's what it is. Yeah, bro. but this TV better change. Otherwise, they're going to go bankrupt and get liquidated. And speaking about liquidation. Okay, I mean, I don't know why you have to scroll up. To- okay, but you can edit that. Drip foot, drip footwear founder announces new sneaker range despite liquidation process. Oh, so he's starting a new one. I don't know if he's starting a new one, but uh, liquid. I mean, this guy, this guy is really he's trying to make money from not making money. Yeah, I mean, the money's not the money's running dry, <laughs> but everything else stays wet. Drip liquid. I. Man, fuck these shoes. These shoes are ugly, bro. <laughs> no, dude. This guy's a sneakerhead, so I back <laughs> his opinion. I didn't want to be a hater, but he's a sneakerhead, so. Well, it kind of looks like it's good for like maybe summer. It looks this material looks like fly netty and shit. Yeah, I've seen mm. people trash talking on social media sometimes because of the quality, like the rubber finishes. Yeah, you see. But then it's also because guys wear it till, you know, it can drip no more. <laughs> <laughs> till it's dry bro like like it's hydrated like um what's called it? evaporated but i remember when this came out the marketing was good because it was like on all the billboards i mean their competitors are like about to you know about two footwear yeah no of it yeah yeah so i think there that there's only like two major designer footwear that i know so i've been dripping about two those are the ones that there's also that uh i think i'm a closer i'm a closer i'm a kip kip or is it Mark Kosa? I think it's Mark Kosa. And they, I don't know if they do clo- um, shoes, but they do clothing. They're like in Europe and stuff on like runways. Um, Yeah, but I might actually actually get a pair of these before it disappears because then it's collector's item. Collector's item, yeah. <laughs> like auction <laughs> culture. <laughs> do you think anyone would, if you could o- o- uh, auction auction culture? Oh, but is auction culture still around? I haven't seen that in many, many. You many. remember auction culture? I remember of it, yeah. Like, yeah. I don't know. Have you ever worn South African like local branding? Yeah, I think I might have had some auction culture gear. I don't know, maybe. Oh, shit! We fucked up if it didn't, eh? I have think you? This is South African. I mean, I've gone to but yeah, to big. This blue. is this is something, bro. I don't know what brand this is, man. I actually mm. bought like a local designer's mm. T-shirt the other day here in Morningside. Fucking guy got. It's amazing, like local designers. You can find some dopes. What's dope about it is also it's unique. You're not gonna see it copy paste everywhere like you're buying from Mr. Price. It's true. You know what I'm yeah. That's the that's the thing about buying. That's nice. They have mass production exclusivity. Yeah, yeah, you get an exclusive. It's a unique look. It's your own. Not many people have it. Definitely. Yeah, yeah risky business starting a, a shoe brand, dude. Sure. What does it say? Both posts created confusion among fans who are unsure if the business was liquidated or if it was strategy to protect. The asses from his estranged wife who wants a 50 50 split. Hey, you see, now there's Mojo love stories. Are you serious? Are you he, saying it's because he's going through a divorce? He's losing the, 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 the company. He's saying they're saying he's faking the liquidation so his, his ex wife doesn't take his monies. Oh, shit. That's a real thing. That's some crazy conspiracy or a crazy hustle. It's a crazy hustle, but it's a real thing, definitely. Imagine your your nah, ex wife is coming for your. But medicine. I mean, you might as well fake the liquidation before she takes off, and you get liquidated. 
<laughs> Much of a mustness. You might as well say, look, guys, I'm not liquidated yet. <laughs> Once I sign this divorce, I'm going to get liquidated. One way or another, you're going to yes, get milked. We'll, we will suck you dry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no more dripping, bro. In a good way and a bad way. Yeah, in all <laughs> kinds of ways, bro. That faucet is closed. Tight. Damn it, that, yeah, that tap don't drip no more. Bro, mm. it's not even a horror movie anymore. Yes, like it. Yeah, no, eh? And I think mm. Julius Malema was saying, or was asking, where is this guy? What's his name? Patrice Mutsepe to come in. Why, bro? Bail him out. I don't know, bro. As much as Mutsepe going to do it. This I mean, man, you're a businessman, and because some guy made some poor business decisions, <laughs> like, okay, man, you know what? We're South Africans. I'll help you out. I'll bail you out. Yeah. I mean, it's not a bad idea if, if you feel like the brand could increase and then you get a share in the company i mean you could buy some shares. yeah but also why was drip only sold in drip stores it wasn't sold like on superbulist hm yeah availability was poor like they, yeah they didn't know how to what's the word distribute it better yes because i mean if i walked into total sports and i'm walking looking at all the sneakers i'm like actually this drip looks like hot better than all of this adidas nike yeah. generic shit that you're seeing because designers have no creativity anymore when you take that drip footwear, you 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 you, you opt for it. That's true, yeah. So there's a some word of advice, dude. If you want to solidify <laughs> instead of liquefy, that's why it was Sunday best. Uh, we're, we're trying to gas you up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. We give uh, good business advice on the show, man. You yeah. should listen to us, and you'll be. I mean, our business is doing really well, Sunday <laughs> <It's> best. <like> it. <laughs> With our millions and millions of followers. Have you watched the McMahon uh, documentary? Yo! Banger. www.banger.com, bro. Did you do the crying scene all of a sudden that when people talk about it? Ah, yes. <laughs> but I don't know what's, on, what's going on with uh, Vince McMahon's lips, bro. They're like dead. It's like Botox and steroids came together. Hey, hey bro. Like, they fused. <laughs> <laughs> they, like, they look dead, bro. Like they should be buried. It was weird when you had that. Look like they need a funeral. That mustache. What the fudge was that, dude? Did he have a mustache? But, yeah, there's one. He had like a mustache. It's like it was just. He looked bizarre. It looked very bizarre. But that documentary slapped him. Yeah. yeah. I don't think I finished it. I think I only finished the last. Oh really? I yeah. clapped that thing, bro. Chowed that thing. It's the last episode that's left. It's crazy. It was. It was, it was, it was nice nostalgia as well. Yeah, you grew up all as that a shit, kid. Like, yeah. And like also you that, get to understand it better as well how it started. Yeah, like I was it. actually a WCW guy because I remember when we were like, people used to argue, are you WCW or WWF? <laughs> I was all about Booker T. Like, doing Hulk this Hogan. Spinner Rooney. And, <laughs> well, Hulk Hogan arrived. I knew he came from WWF. He came from the WWF. Yeah, but my guys were like Ray Mysterio Jr., uh, Goldberg. You know, so WCW was the shit. Bro. Goldberg was insane. Whereas in WWF, I like people like Gold Dust who would like <laughs> creep you out. You didn't even have to touch you, bro. You just like get get away from me, dude. It's P Diddy vibes, bro. Creepy. His, his, his strength was creeps. The first P Diddy before P Diddy. Yeah, was, was Gold, gold Dust. dust. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now you look at Diddy. He's like a modern day Gold Dust, bro. <laughs> didn't do all white parties. That all gold. gold, gold. gold. <laughs> uh, silly. You mean with tomato sauce. <laughs> <laughs> so it was, it was actually a red party then it wasn't an old this is party. confusing yo dude yo. no wonder those parties went popular <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah R V D oh John Claude John Claude Van Damme his cousin was oh. speaking about what I was gonna say <laughs> <laughs> what did he say is this the last article? Last article, guys. Let's go. Influence All content. Yes. More content for the content. Influence risking death in hurricanes for clicks and cash. Well, it's bound to happen. So there's a natural disaster happening in Florida called Hurricane Milton. Oh, really? I didn't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> you live on a fucking rock. You didn't know that? Of course, I know that. Dude, I saw a simulation where they were showing the the height of the water. Of the water, dude. Like, like 12 the feet. The trees. Dude. Yeah, that's nuts. You know, I was talking about it with my colleague. I was like, you know, some people like they leave the area. Other people, I don't know, they build bunkers or whatever that sh shit. But if I was there, I would just uh, have m my all my belongings stored in a boat, like a speed boat. Yeah. As soon as this happens, I'm out of there. <laughs> <laughs> boat right my way out of there, bro. 
<laughs> yeah. So this guy said apparently said what did he say? Yeah, when asked, what did he do? Controversial. So apparently there was some stunt. He says he gets ten thousand vo- followers. Yeah, like he jumped jump, into the wind or whatever. He'll jump into the the pool, the water. Yeah, and it's so funny because he, he doesn't can't know how to swim, swim. <laughs> bro. I was like, dude, this is the dumbest shit ever. No wonder you do this. <laughs> do you think dumb people do content creation influencing uh, ish man we're yeah. talking like Kim Kardashian's mm-hmm. what do you mean the Kim Kardashian Kim, 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 Kim Kardashian swim she was the original influencer wasn't she is she the original influencer the OG isn't, isn't Ronaldo the original well or he's the nah. most followed the most followed person on the planet is Cristiano Yeah, Ronaldo. but he started in soccer. She started in influencing. No, in porn. Influencing. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's a camera involved. <laughs> she definitely influenced mm-hmm. us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> many, many, many times. Made us wear drip. <laughs> and drip. <laughs> what did he say? Yeah. But uh, yeah, they make money, bro, from these shenanigans. Apparently, bro, getting clicks and likes, eh? Yeah, dude. Would you like? How do you do it? Like, there's a hurricane right behind you, and you just the thing is, if you if the hurricane's right behind you and you're shooting, so the wind is blowing towards the camera. (laughs) If it's in front of you, so the wind is blowing towards you. So I guess if you have long hair, it's good if it's blowing towards you. Be... Oh, the shit, this is the dude. People were trying to escape Hurricane Milton. Michael Smalls Jr. says he went towards it to live stream himself with nothing but an air mattress and an umbrella. Why? To make money. The winds start picking up, and um, I don't know how to swim. And this isn't the first time he's done this. A few weeks ago, he yes. says he went out with his friends <laughs> to a tent. He's trying to. Pitch a tent and then a hurricane. While relief workers were trying to help those in need in Tampa, Florida, in a mandatory evacuation zone, Michael decided to stay. You know, I take safety very seriously. To a degree, I guess you could say it's irresponsible, but for me, I would say it's it's a calculated banger. Say, for example, you did get into trouble. Do you, some people might say that you're kind of taking away resources from somewhere else. Yeah, I've definitely heard that. And, it, you know, it's definitely a fuck. A, he's a narcissist. <laughs> Mama Joy. <laughs> it's Mama Joy of America, bro. Yeah. Mama Joy of hurricanes. <laughs> Mama Joy. <laughs> Are you are you stupid, dude? We obviously have to save you, bro. You guys, is that, what you want to kill yourself? This guy just confessing to suicide. Bro. You don't want to be saved. Don't save him. Additional challenges for first responders. You think GTA Six will have this? Like random yes. hurricanes, <laughs> and there's like an influencer in the tornado. Yeah, <laughs> like follow, subscribe. <laughs> no, that would be so dope if they, if GTA Six does that. <laughs> Apparently, GTA Six is only coming to PlayStation for the, like the first year of release. Oh my god, got me. Why? <laughs> that's when I was talk to those Diz TV pirates. <laughs> okay, hook me up, Baba. But the thing is, dude, you know why? <laughs> Because PC gamers do mods to the game and also they just fucking rewire the game and just fucking fuck shit up <laughs> they for everybody. Rewire the game. No, no, they do, <laughs> dude, because they they can what they can do is they use cheat codes, they can recode shit, yeah, add their own things mad, into the game, madness, fuck it around, and then like, like when you that's why I'm playing, like when you play Red Dead or you play GTA online, it's sometimes so fucking frustrating, bro, because there's these dudes, PC probably PC gamers, who are modding the shit out of the game and just having unfair advantages and you're like this is boring because you guys are cheating. Philistines. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's problematic when you out there with your selfie stick and a home is getting somebody's home is getting destroyed. I think that's problematic. You know what it is? Mm-hmm. I, they were talking about it here, and they were saying the fact that you're t- pulling away resources because if you do get into trouble, <laughs> someone who is actually in trouble, who's you know trying to get away, you're taking away that opportunity. That's one less person saved. Mm. You know. Oh, some people are territorial about that. Like some people didn't evacuate. 
Yeah, I saw some girl like posting up and she's like, yo, yo, I just stayed because I wanted to feel rescued. What? No. <laughs> she's yo, you got some daddy issues. <laughs> you know, like you be rescued in a hurricane, <laughs> bro. I don't want to leave. I'm waiting for my take a lot order. Um, can you imagine mm-hmm. bro, like, <laughs> being an Uber, Uber Eats? A check at 66. check at 66, bro. You, and the apples are, are flying, bro. And he's catching it's them. He's like, I got them. <laughs> oh, these check at 66 yeah, guys are good, man. <laughs> that would be a dope sketch as well, bro. Yeah, it would, eh? But how do you get special effects for a tornado, ish? No, you just have to have like someone with long hair. You have a fan blasting. You have things being blown off. Oh, it's strings and you pull it. You act as a hey production. You gotta think on your feet, <laughs> bro. I told you the ideas guy, dude. I'm the idea. Always <laughs> move that chair, do that, make that poster. Stop, stop. <laughs> Evan, I was saying, like, you're directing is so much better, but then the acting is so you just tell people what to do. Like, do the fix the directing is a vibe. <laughs> That's also a narcissistic, uh, it is. Eh? Uh, it's all about what yeah, I want. I run this, shit. I run this shit. <laughs> we shoot it the way I want. <laughs> all right, cool, man. Let's end it on that one. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching Sunday Best episode 22. That was a fun one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, don't comment, forget to comment. do the things, you man. Know, Let us know if you're going to Chris Brown. Yeah. Uh, if you're taking your girlfriend with you. Or yeah, your, and, if you, and if you are going to do it, if you are going to go sh- shoot some content and show us how yes. narcissistic you are. Show us that disaster. <laughs> Don't show us Chris Brown. Show us yourselves at the concert to show. Yeah, man. And mm-hmm. yeah, if you guys are a DSTV subscriber. Subscribe, make sure you watch the Bafana Bafana vs. Congo <laughs> game yesterday. <laughs> tomorrow. Yeah. yeah, cool. I think that's it, yeah? Yeah. Cool. yeah. Episode 22. Peace. We out.